Good morning from a very sunny and warm Tokyo. I watch a lot of what I eat in a day vlogs myself. I really enjoy them, especially if the person is from a country that I've never lived in myself. I find it so interesting to see what kind of things they're eating. Because the weather is suddenly so amazing today, I've decided to do something a little fancy for lunch. But the breakfast and the dinner that I'll be showing you are things that I've been making several times a week. So I hope you guys enjoy. So I start every single morning off with a delicious and nutritious breakfast of thyroid medication. I have to take this every single morning and evening it's a huge pain in the ass. If you're new to my channel, I had half of my thyroid and some lymph nodes removed due to a tumor two years ago, I think it was now. Unfortunately, you need a working thyroid to live. So now I take replacement thyroid hormones, T4 as well as T3. The T4 didn't really work for me until we started adding in the T3 as well. FYI, in case you also have thyroid problems and you're curious. And then I make sure to drink tons of water. I am always filling up this awesome cup that I got on Amazon. I'm obsessed with it. It helps me drink a lot of water. I just keep refilling it and sipping at it all day. So this is what I eat for breakfast, probably five or six times a week. Chris always likes eating it as well. Sometimes we'll have oatmeal, but mostly it's eggs and veggies and kimchi. My thyroid doctor gave me a huge list of foods that I'm not supposed to be eating because my thyroid sucks. And honestly, it's extremely overwhelming, mostly because lots of the foods on the list were foods that I've grown up eating my entire life. Some of my favorite foods like broccoli and tofu and kale. So I've had to kind of rework the meals that I eat on a regular basis to include less of these foods. I try to cook a lot at home so that I know exactly what's going into my food. And if I do eat out or order something delivery, I try to find things that have simple ingredients so I know exactly what I'm eating and I can avoid the things that I'm supposed to avoid. But I don't follow the list to a T. I think I would go crazy if I did. Maybe in the future I'll be able to do that, but right now I'm just trying to limit those things as much as possible. After breakfast, I'll always have one Brazil nut because this gives me my daily recommended intake of selenium, which is really good for thyroid function. It is hot as heck in Tokyo today, currently 22 degrees. That might not seem that hot, but up until yesterday, it was probably about 10 degrees and I'm boiling, but I thought today would be the perfect time to use this really adorable picnic set that Chris got me for Christmas years ago and I have not had a chance to use it and I'm going to do it today. I'm going to invite Ushka out for a picnic, enjoy the sun and um, use my cute little picnic set. Oh, yeah. I kind of wanted to know what this tastes like. Ushka found a banana bulb, a banana plant bulb. No idea how to eat it or how to cook it, but we're really curious and it's on sale for 200 yen, so we're gonna try it. Yeah. Found this amazing sushi set. Temari Zishi, I think it's called. So cute. Could get some fruit. Yeah, yeah something sapari. Oh, look at that! Oh, it's, a it's a fruit cake! <laughs> I've never seen anything like that. That looks so yummy. I think we got too much stuff. We're gonna have lots of leftovers.
my Sakureko subscription box arrived just in time for the nice weather. Sakureko is a monthly Japanese snack subscription box that supports local Japanese snack makers. Every month you will get 20 authentic, artisan, and traditional Japanese snacks, as well as Japanese teas and a special Japanese tableware item. So this month's theme is Yozakura. I love cherry blossom viewing at night. It is so fun. They light up the trees in the parks and they have lanterns. It's a really cool way to enjoy the sakura. So if you're in Japan during sakura season, don't forget to also enjoy the sakura at nighttime. So inside this booklet, you'll find lots of cultural information on Japan, information on all the snacks in the box, as well as the allergy info of each snack. Mochi mochi miruku manju. Mmm. Smells like butter. Mmm. <laughs> it's got strawberry in the middle. Oh my god. <laughs> That's delicious. Wow, well, it's good. Mm. That sponge is really good. It's so good. chewy. It's like mm. a cake mixed with a mochi. <laughs> Hitokuchi yokan. Mmm. <laughs> Mm. I love it. It's like those um, mm. sakura, the pickled sakura that go on top of cakes. Yes, like yeah. It's so yummy. Exactly. Mm. So yokan is made from beans, the sweet beans that they use in Japanese desserts, but you don't really taste anything except for the flavor that they add to it. So in this case, sakura. This month's tea is probably going to be a really pretty color. So we're going to try it in a see-through glass. That smells so good. It looks like green tea, but it smells like blueberry candy. Yum. I'm gonna need a box of that ASAP. <laughs> a box of these guys as well. Mm -hmm. Now we just need some real sakura. <laughs> the sakura are so late this year. They kept saying, oh, the peak is gonna be like March 20th. And now it's like the end of March and there's nothing. There's not one blossom on this street. If you'd like to get your own subscription to Sakura Co, use my code Charmeleon for $5 off your first order. And if you sign up for a 12 month subscription and use the code Sakura24, you will receive this beautiful color changing Sakura glass set. You can find the links in the description box below. Let's dig in to our sushi and chijimi. We've got a little bit of everything here. It's adorable. Scallop. Mmm, mmm. Did you see oh the scallop? Oh my God, it's good. Uh -huh. That's amazing. Mmm. Yeah. That's really good for supermarket sushi. What the heck? Look how perfect It's almost it is. like the level of our sushi shop. That is Norwegian salmon. Mm-hmm. Mm. delicious. Yeah. If you've never tried Korean pancake, these are really easy to make at home. Just Google Chijimi. This is a really, <laughs> the rarest item in Japan. Honestly. <laughs> it's blackberries. Blackberries, raspberries. <laughs> it's so hard to get here. For some reason, mm, the supermarket yum. had them today. I've never seen them there before. We really should have invited yeah. people. <laughs> Look at all this food. Should we call someone up? What time is it? It's getting kind of late it's at this point. People walking past. That's true. We can invite our neighbors over. Butter yeah, them up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> the raspberries are so good. Really? Wow. They're so sweet. Mmm. Oh, so mm. this area <laughs> where the house is, we just found out it apparently has one of the most famous Sakura streets in all of Japan. Unfortunately, <laughs> the plan was to go take you guys to see it today. Not one blossom in sight. So we're hoping the next video that we film here at the house, the Sakura will be blooming and I can take you for a tour of the neighborhood because it looks cool. We went and checked out the road with the trees. We imagined the sakura, and I think it'll look really good. <laughs> All right, we're gonna finish our picnic. Actually, I'm pretty full, I'm pretty much done now. We're gonna pack up the leftovers of our picnic, and I'll see you guys again later for dinner, and I'll show you what I've been eating for dinner like three times a week recently. I'm addicted, I can't stop. <laughs> I'm over at Ishka's now because we are on a mission. We have been tasked with making 100 energy bars for Chris's cycle across Japan. So this is the recipe we're using. We found one online. It's pretty simple, honestly. You just make a base of peanut butter and honey and oats, and then you can add whatever else you like to it. So we're doing dried fruits, got some chocolate chips in there because the guys requested that, coconut, 
So we had a fun idea to cut up some golden tickets and hide them in some of the energy bars. So we're gonna make a hundred bars. We'll probably make maybe like five special ones. Is that enough? Maybe 10? I feel like they need 10. Okay, and then when the guys pull a golden ticket, they can decide on what the prize is. Maybe one of them gets to like relax in the van for an hour and can take a break from cycling, or maybe they get like a treat from the Kombini. I don't know. That's up to them to decide. So go watch Connor's stream. He'll be streaming the entire two week cycle live on his Twitch. I know this is supposed to be a what I eat in a day. We're not gonna be eating these, but I really wanted to share the recipe with you guys because I think they're gonna be really yummy and it's something cool to just keep stocked in your house. It's a shame that these are two ingredients that are kind of hard to get in Japan. We spent so much money on honey and peanut butter. <laughs> it's a luxury item. Okay, hopefully we'll give them energy. Yeah. Finish the ride. Hopefully. <laughs> You're gonna need it. This is so sweet. So you just heat this until yeah. it's all stirred and melted and mixed together. Make sure it doesn't burn because it's so sweet it'll burn. Put it in. Yeah, go for it. So we're gonna put a, a little bit less oats than it asks for just because we want them to be moist because they have to stay good and like chewy for two weeks so we don't want to make them too dry normally you can put in what the recipe says and we've got some sunflower seeds pumpkin seeds a bit of coconut Spices you want to it. We're gonna do some cinnamon. Oh, you know what would have been amazing? That German vanilla sugar. Oh god, it would have been so good. Oops. For the trickiest part, we have to cut these and hope that they don't fall apart. This is your part. <laughs> yeah. oh, it felt good. Yeah, it felt yeah. promising. Looks legit. It is legit. You can sell these. Okay. Nice. That looks awesome. That is awesome. That is awesome. AM. We finally finished. I really hope the boys like them. Go cheer them on on Connor's Twitch. For dinner today, I'm going to order my favorite salad. I get this probably three times a week. It's just super easy and yummy and saves me a lot of time. I've been so busy with work recently that I've been just getting this and not cooking anything for dinner, which isn't the greatest, but sometimes I just need to save time. It's called Crisp Salad Works and they have locations all over Tokyo. So if you're here in Tokyo and you want a quick, healthy, yummy meal, highly recommend them. You can choose your base. So you can either do all greens, like lettuce, kale, spinach, or you can do a rice base if you want it to be more filling. I like to do half and half. So half greens, half rice and mixed grains. And then I like to get onions, apples, broccoli, egg, and chicken and shrimp for toppings and then i'll probably get the sriracha dressing it's so nice good boy 
So what I like to do is take some of this and some raisins and some sprouts. They always give you quite a bit of dressing, so I just put on a little bit of it and save the rest. Then you mix it all up and it's the best salad ever. Yeah. The amount they give you varies so much depending on who makes it. I got the exact same order yesterday and it was half the size. I'm probably gonna save half of this for lunch tomorrow cause it's massive today. I swear to God, this is just the best combination of veggies and rice and protein. I'm so obsessed with this salad. Adding the sauerkraut in makes it super tasty. It makes it like slightly saltier. gives it a little bit of that sour flavor. Love it so much. Tuna always comes over for a bite. I can't have my salad. Not for cock. And if you get it in the shop and not delivered to you, it's a lot cheaper. It gets pretty pricey if you do delivery. All right, I'm gonna finish this. Then I have a meeting at 9.30. And then I'll see you guys afterwards because there's one more thing I always have before I go to bed. So I'll see you in a bit, bye for now. So I love making a cozy drink before bed. Of course, one without caffeine. My current drink of choice is the Yorkshire Tea Bedtime Brew. If you're in the UK, you can get this at Tesco, I believe. I think the big Tesco, does that make sense? A few of the supermarket chains have it anyways, but it's getting increasingly hard to find, I've found. So good luck, but do look for it. It's so delicious and caffeine free. And I like to make some foamy milk with mine. This Nespresso frother has probably been my favorite purchase in the last few years. I get so much use out of this thing. It just makes the best foamy tea latte. I love it so much. I like to top mine with some pumpkin spice mix and also a little bit of this German vanilla sugar. It's basically a sugar that smells strongly of vanilla. It just adds the best smell. <laughs> and this is my cozy bedtime drink. I hope you guys enjoyed this what I eat in a day. Let me know if you'd like to see more. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.